G'day everybody, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in. Today we have from Laney, and thank you for it, Laney very much for sending us this pedal. This is the lab box. So this is a 60 watt dual channel guitar amplifier built into a pedal sized cabinet. Now you can see they've got the uh, OD1 there and the uh, RV2 from Boss Nexus. So you can see the size of about two uh, Boss pedals. And the fact that it's got a um, a 60 watt amplifier into it is absolutely mind boggling. So I'm running two things today. I've got a bit of a different setup for those of you who are familiar with the channel. I am running this PV5150 4x12 cabinet behind me. It's mic'd up with an SM58 just going straight into the door so you can just hear exactly how it sounds. At the same time, I'm running a direct out here. Oh into my door with the cab sim turned on. So this has the cab sim into if you're using headphones or going direct or to in-ear monitors or to front of house or something like that. Right, so I'm gonna start on the clean channel first. There's a couple of different options here. I've got the volume and gain sort of set around where I want it. Bass, treble and middle sort of set around where I want it. So uh, this is the 4x12 cab, the uh, PV5150. It's going to put some reverb into the front of the amp pedal. So as you can hear, it takes pedals like a champ. Right, I'm just gonna go through the bass and the treble. So there's a fair bit of bass going on in there. scoop mids as well if you really want it. And now for the treble knob, this is all still through the 4x12 cab. Now, for those of you playing along at home, uh, I'm just marking it up. Uh, I just found a sort of like a nice little sweet spot there with an SM58. All right, so that's channel one. That is the clean channel. So now I've got the gain all the way up. You can see the little switch on there between our lead, rhythm, and clean. That just sort of changes the gain structure a little bit. Nice and twangy on the lead setting. Tiny bit crunchy on the rhythm section. Nice and sparkly on the clean. Now this uh, A channel also has a boost if you're doing solos and that sort of stuff. Is so loud in here. I, I can't explain to you in words how loud this 4x12 cab is. So yeah, if you didn't need a bit of a boost for um, lead tones, that sort of thing, uh, the boost is available there and there is heaps and heaps and heaps of it. So 
I'm going to flick over to channel two now. I've got the gain all the way up. This is the dirty channel. Oh, that was the cabinet. This, that was the cabinet. This is uh, the direct input. With the cab sim on. Fingers are very sore today. All right. I'm going to turn the boost off. There is a dark setting. This is back to the cabinet too, by the way. In the middle is just flat EQ. Upper top is bright EQ. I really like that one. This is a direct output. Going back to the cabinet now, but there is just so many tonal options here. So you can hear but between the, the cab sim output, you can hear the actual cab output. Um, there's also a headphone output. There's just so much going on with this pedal. So I'm going to flick it back over to the nice clean channel. I'm going to leave the switch in the clean position. I'm sure you can all see here, I've got a Nobles overdrive here as well. So I'm going to see how it takes pedals. Cab sim out. It's pretty awesome. Uh, I'm going to flick it back over to the Dirty Channel now and uh, see how that takes pedals. This is the, um, the 4x12 cab behind me first. I've knocked the game back a little bit because I'm going to be punching a fair bit of gain into it from the Nobles pedal. So let's see how we go. Yeah. 
All right, this is the uh, the direct out with the cab sim on it. Cabinet, even though you're hearing the direct signal at the moment, the cabinet wants to feed back so, so badly. So I'm going to flip back over to the cabinet now for you to listen to. There's just an incredible amount of gain on tap there. And yet, it just cleans up so beautifully. Back to the direct output. So let's go over the list of features here. We've got a 60 watt amplifier with two channels built into a pedal. Now it runs off 24 volts at 2.5 amps. So I'm pretty sure your Strymon Zoomer will run it if you have a voltage doubler on the two out, the 212 uh, volt outputs, which is pretty cool. Otherwise, you're going to have to carry out a wall warp. But for the savings in you know size and weight, having to carry out a bloody guitar amplifier. To all your gigs, this is actually a really handy option to have. Now, it has headphone out with a cab sim. It has re direct recording out with a cab sim. It has the speaker out, obviously, of course. Uh, so you can actually run this 4x12 cab. You can run a 1x12, 2x12, whatever you want. Now, the other cool thing that this pedal does is that it also has a, a direct pedal level out as well. So even if you're not using it as an amp or as a recording interface or going to a PA system or something like that, you can actually just use this as a dual channel drive pedal. So you can actually just use it as a run of the mill, normal everyday distortion pedal, which is absolutely incredible. But I, um, I think the thing for me, being able to put a little guitar amp on your pedal board and have it sound this good, and um, being able to run a quality cabinet of your choice with the speakers of your choice um, is really, really handy and really, really cool. So, I mean, I don't, I don't want to say, oh, just throw it in your gig bag and use it as a backup. I, I would seriously gig this. It sounds amazing and it's so fucking loud in here at the moment. This cabinet has been barking its head off the whole time. So, um, takes pedals like a champ. Um, now the other thing you can do with the cab sim if you want if you want to use your own IRs you can actually turn the cab sim off and use your own IRs in your door or maybe like a baby bomb or something like that um, where am I? I've got a, an IR loader pedal there from Sonic Cake which is pretty cool it has a lot of different speaker cabs built into it uh, and it also has a ground lift if you are suffering from hum or buzz problems so I think that's pretty much the whole thing two channels plus a boost don't forget the boost that's actually pretty important um, Takes pedals like a champ, use it as a preamp, use it as an amp, use it as a pedal. Um, you can do whatever you want with it. And I think they've got all the bases covered with this. And I I really think that Laney are onto a winner here. I think there's a lot of people professionally and in their bedrooms with the headphones on and stuff that could really, really get some good quality use out of this pedal. And I think it's um I think it's very, very handy addition to your kit. So uh, anyway, thank you for watching. If you got this far, thank you, Laney, for uh, sending this to us. Thank you, you, for watching. Uh, give us a thumbs up and a like and a subscribe. If you got this far, it really helps the channel out and it is absolutely free to you. Um, until then, we'll see you next time. Bye.